If you work in IT help desk or support, you need to start learning cloud technologies today. By the end of this episode, you would have learned three things. One, the reason you need to learn cloud technologies right now. Two, how learning the cloud will help you earn more money. And three, I'm going to show you a blueprint you can follow to improve your cloud skills today. The first reason you need to learn the cloud is that it would help future-proof your career. I recently read a study that said that over 90% of companies use the cloud in some capacity and the majority of companies are looking to transition more of their traditional IT operations into the cloud. This shows that the cloud is becoming more important to IT operations and you need to make sure you are ready to adapt to this new world. I'm sure you've started to notice cloud services creeping into your organization. Maybe your company has started using Amazon S3 for file storage and backups, or maybe you've migrated your Active Directory to Azure AD. As an IT professional, you can't rely on your old skills because times are changing. The IT professionals who are going to be successful in the future are those who embrace the cloud and learn the skills to be successful. Those who don't learn risk becoming redundant because their skills just don't match up with their organization's needs anymore. If you embrace the cloud, you reap the rewards through pay rises and increased job securities. So make sure you improve your knowledge in this department. The second reason you should learn the cloud is that it will open up new career opportunities. I've spoken to a lot of IT professionals who feel stuck in their careers. Maybe you've been doing it for a couple of years and haven't seen much progression. You might be asking yourself what the next step is. The good news is that if you learn cloud skills, it will open up exciting new career opportunities for you. For example, if your company decides to migrate more services to a cloud provider like AWS, and you have spent the last three months improving your AWS skills, you might be asked to be involved in that project, which will not only increase your visibility within the organization, but will also increase your chance of getting a pay rise. And this is only the beginning. If you decide to actively make a career transition to become a cloud engineer or a solution architect, you will significantly increase your earning potential. Solution architects in the UK make between 80,000 and 120,000 pounds plus, while in the US, you can expect to make $100,000 plus. For a full salary breakdown of what you can make in the cloud industry, you can check out a video we created called Top Cloud Computing Careers. Link is in the description below. A lot of IT professionals who make this career change find that they can double or even triple their salaries by learning cloud skills. You might be wondering how difficult it would be to pick up these skills. Maybe you think you have to spend years learning new technologies and terminologies, and you don't know if you can be bothered to do all of that. I'm here to tell you that learning cloud is probably easier than you think. Based on your IT experience, you're already familiar with a lot of technology concepts that the cloud uses. At a fundamental level, the cloud uses the same technologies like networking, security, servers, databases. The only difference between the cloud and on-premises infrastructure is that with the cloud, you have to learn some new terminologies and interfaces as well as new services. But realistically, you'll be doing a lot of similar tasks as you're currently doing. For example, managing servers, managing databases, restoring backups, etc. The main difference is that the cloud makes it easier and more efficient to perform these tasks. Now that you're excited to learn cloud skills, I want to walk you through the three-step process that you can follow to accelerate your cloud learning. The first step in your cloud journey should be to get a learning plan. This is important because there are so many technologies to learn and it can quickly become overwhelming. Beginners who don't have a learning plan are more likely to get discouraged, burnt out and eventually fail in achieving their goals. And I don't want that for you. Having a learning plan helps to structure your learning and gives you confidence that what you're working on are the right skills at the right time. I have been in the cloud industry for over seven years. And in that time, I have developed a tried and proven learning plan that cloud beginners from all over the world have followed to successfully learn cloud skills and build their technical confidence. Here are the key technologies you need to learn to be successful in the cloud industry. The first technology you need to learn is the Linux command line. This is because the majority of cloud workloads run on Linux. And so if you can't navigate the Linux command line, you won't make that much progress with the other technologies. The next technology you need to learn is the cloud provider. For example, AWS, you need to learn how to do projects in the AWS console to just practice your skills and to know how to navigate the interface. 
After that, you need to learn infrastructure as code tools such as Terraform. That way you can script the deployment and creation of these cloud resources. After that, the next thing I recommend you learn is CICD pipelines. So continuous integration and continuous development. This is because learning how to deploy your infrastructure and applications using CICD pipelines is integral to becoming a cloud professional and employers really value this skill. The next technology I'd like you to learn is a programming language like Python because being able to script and automate processes will make you more valuable in the cloud industry. These are some of the key technologies that are used in the cloud industry and having experience of them will give you a huge advantage because these are skills that employers are looking for. By learning these skills, you'll be able to take on more interesting cloud projects and become the go-to person in your company for their cloud needs. I have created a free guide called Three Simple Steps to Your First Cloud Job, which walks you through everything you need to know to learn the cloud skills to be successful. I'm sure you'll get a ton of value from this free guide. So make sure you download it now. Link is in the description below. Once you have a learning plan, the next step is to get your hands dirty. This means that you need to start putting in the work to learn these skills. And the best way to do this is by building high quality cloud projects. I believe that the best way to learn is by doing. Sure, you can spend a lot of time getting certifications and gaining theoretical knowledge, but the reality is that you won't actually make progress until you start building projects and troubleshooting issues. High quality projects will give you a comprehensive understanding of what it takes to build best in class cloud infrastructure. It can be quite difficult to find the right projects that will help you learn cloud skills in a structured and engaging manner, which is why I created a program called the Cloud Career Accelerator Program. This has been designed for beginners like you to build the skills you need to be successful in the cloud industry. When you sign up, you will learn how to build high quality projects with technologies like Linux, Bash, AWS, Terraform, Docker, Python, and much more. By the time you complete the program, you will have gone from being a cloud zero to a cloud hero. If you want to find out more, simply go to cloudcareermentor.com. Link is in the description below. Once you've learned the cloud fundamentals and created a portfolio of high quality projects, we can move on to the next phase. And I would argue that this is the most important step in the process. What's the step I hear you ask? This step is learning to communicate your experience and cloud skills. There's a famous saying that you've probably heard before. If a tree falls down in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? This applies to you because if you spend a lot of time building your cloud skills, but no one knows you've developed these competencies, then it most likely won't change your situation. Which is why I always encourage cloud beginners to share the technologies they learn on social media platforms like LinkedIn. It also helps to tell your manager and people on your team all about the new technologies you're learning. If your organization has a cloud department, then reach out to people on that on the cloud team and share your progress. If the right people in your organization know that you're interested in cloud technologies, they're more likely to reach out to you if an opportunity arises. Every time there's a change in any industry, some people see problems and other people see opportunities. Those who see opportunities will actively make the decision to upskill themselves and embrace the cloud. These people will be rewarded with more money and career progression. Those who see problems will bury their head in the sand and get washed away. I know who I'd rather be when the change comes. If you're ready to build your cloud skills, simply go to cloudcareermentor.com for more details. If you need more information, just shoot me an email at support at cloudcareermentor.com and I'll get back to you. Now you might be wondering what various opportunities exist in the cloud industry and more importantly, how much these jobs pay. We've created a video that answers these questions called top cloud computing careers, salaries included. Make sure you watch that now. See you in the next one.